welcome, welcome back. back. We're here, Let's yeah. Talk Autism with Shannon and Nancy. Right. And Nancy and I are very excited because our next guest is joining us via Skype. And I'm a big fan, and we're just getting him introduced to Nancy, but believe right. me, you're going to be a big fan okay. too. So Chad Hooker is coming to us from Puzzle Piece Athletics. Now, uh, we so after people are on the show sometimes, we get to be friends with mm -hmm. them. And right. we've had a wonderful guest on the show a couple of times. Uh, her name is Swathi, and she's an amazing woman and, and she's shown us her daughter's jewelry mm -hmm. um Siri, Siri. Designs, by Siri. designs by Siri beautiful beautiful jewelry and so she is the one who started turning me on to uh Chad yeah. and what he's got doing got going on at Puzzle Piece, Piece Athletics and I've been watching videos of Chad and I just wish Chad lived locally because I need Chad where did you see uh, these videos uh, so uh there's a lot of videos on Facebook of Chad working out with individuals who are on the autism spectrum and it is one of the most inspirational things I've seen like you know I honestly I, you would think because a lot of times our kids have issues with compliance he's got some special mojo uh -huh. that he gets these he makes it fun and exciting he gets these kids doing incredible things and and there's one of his uh clients in particular that i'm just watching him re-sculpt her body with his workout really but it's more than that it's about reducing anxiety anyway we yeah, need to get chad and chad i'm a huge fan chad welcome thank to the you show so much thank you guys welcome to thank the show you. tell us about how well, Puzzle Piece, obviously, is the autism uh, logo that you use in your uh, business. So you designed it particularly for uh, individuals on the autism spectrum? Yeah, so I, I took um, the Puzzle Piece because it's, it's well known in, in the neurodiverse community. I, I took that and I, I had made it so it looked more more fitness like so when you look at the logo you're like okay like this this looks like it has something to do with autism mm -hmm. and fitness right so it's got the the peas on the side with the barbell and all that good stuff so right. yeah, yeah there it is the right puzzle there. piece athletics so um i had someone help me with this and she did an absolutely amazing yeah, it's job a great with this, logo. you can look at it and you just you know exactly what it's exactly. what it is well tell us how your interest in autism and athletics started and how this whole so idea that, began. that's actually a really good thing to talk about i was running crossfit kids classes and i i had been doing this for a very long time and i was i was teaching a class and this lady came up to me and she was like hey like can do you do personal sessions and i was like yeah like of course um, what what can I help you with? And she was like, okay, you know, it's not it's not really for me. It's for my friend, and it's not it's not for her. It's for her child, um, and he's on he's on the spectrum. And I was like, okay, like sure, n no problem. Like let let's get him in and let's let's see what we can do. You know, we'll we'll see how things go. And then from there, it was just like seeing seeing what happened and the and the changes in this young man was just it was it was crazy. The mom would come back to me in tears and and all this stuff and just just to see from where he started with me to where we got was just crazy just the improvements that this this young man was making was was just mind-blowing and you, right? you had to, to have known that then chad that you were on to something much. you had to have known sorry, then what? you had to have known then that you were on to something um yes. and and is that when you decided to make a whole different division of your gym that would just take care of this yeah you know i I did it out of the the kindness of my heart, you know, and and still do, right? That's that's what this business was made for to to help to help the neurodiverse um, community. But I went a long time just taking taking kids, you know, just helping them, and and I did it for for free in the beginning, just to work with these kids to to help them out, to get them more confident. And it took me a while to actually get this thought in my head, like, wow, like I can I can really 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 help this neurodiverse community and and really get things going but no i i just took on some clients here and there and and then it just like snowball effect into puzzle piece athletics which had a lot to do with my wife being like you know you're really really good at this you yeah. should you should really start to you really to are make us your passion and do something with this you know you what really kind of, are. yeah what kind of changes did you see in the kids that you were working with Oh my gosh. So, so many confidence. Number one there, I've had 
kids come in to the gym that like that number one won't even go inside the the, I had one that kind of walked up to the gate and then looked at me and he was like I I quit and just turned around and walked away and it was like oh oh no like you can't quit on the teammate right and like it took me it took me a while to to hone in on him and and to learn his cues and just to become friends with him, to get him comfortable with myself. And then I think it took about a month and a half, maybe a little bit more just to, to get him inside the gym. And now he just walks in like it's his own place and mm. tells people jokes and, and is just, just really grown, you know, just, just getting to know these kids and to making them feel comfortable and to making them feel like they can do these things. And you just push past that barrier and, once you break that barrier, it's you're good. But it's not as if you had any uh, training, or correct me if I'm wrong, in, in no, working with his interview. I think there's some people, I mean, we know this, we see a really amazing therapists that they get good training, but there's also this, there's just something special about right. them there's an it that, that, that locks in with these kids and uh -huh. the kids feel it too. You see the yeah, same thing, and, I, and please don't take this the wrong way, but you see the same thing with animals. Uh -huh. Like to see a person on the spectrum walk up to a horse and there is immediate respect. Uh -huh. yes, they get each they're... other. Yeah, the, the animals pick up on on their senses and and all that stuff and you know like that's that's why they're they're service dogs and that's why there's all those that stuff you know like if you have if you have a child with seizures the, the animal can predict those seizures and stuff like that so it's really it's it's that connection it, there has to be a connection and and with animals and people on the spectrum there there's an immediate connection and and for some reason like I just I don't know what it is. Are I you just part horse, connect. Chad? I want to know. Are you I'm, part I'm horse? Man, I might be. I wish I was as fast as you. <laughs> you know what it is, though? I think there are some people who are just themselves, and they're comfortable in their skin, and they're honest. Like, I think our kids have a BS meter. Right. That they can smell oh, sure. when somebody's trying to do something that mm -hmm. they aren't good at. Mm -hmm. And and I've watched videos with you, Chad, and it, like, it's just sort of miraculous. You watch him working out with an individual on the spectrum and they are in it with him and he's in it with them and he does something and then they do it and every i'm just impressed yeah, Chad. It's, it's you know and i always say like you have to it's not like the first time that these these um these kids or these adults come into the gym like i'm like honed in on it like i it takes me a minute to figure out how they tick okay. like what what cues can I use with them that's gonna work? Like, how am I gonna keep this this child or this adult motivated? And you know, I just I try and build on everything that I've learned, and I use the cues that I've learned, and I kind of stick with them. Um, so it's been it's been a lot of time, just like hands hands on with this amazing community, like really really learning on how they work and and how to keep them motivated so it's taken a lot but it's it's really starting to pay off and now i just like you said like i'm comfortable enough in my skin to to be to be fine with them like i'm not i'm not afraid of of failing i'm not afraid of exactly. them getting hurt i don't baby them like we're in it to win it like i'm gonna be there for you and i want to build that connection with them immediately so it starts as soon as you come in with myself or or my amazing coaches like it starts with that connection we build on that connection until you're comfortable with us and then that's it I want to go over some of the things that you have on your flyer. He says, we focus mm -hmm. on improving motor skills, muscle strength, and joint mobility, mm -hmm. building balance, coordination, and endurance, improving mm -hmm. behavioral and cognitive functioning, and reducing maladaptive and increasing on-task behaviors. That's a pretty epic list there, right? It's like hitting the hit parade. But I... But I, I know watching the videos, I'm seeing amazing things. Uh, yeah, the parents have got to just love you, Chad. Yes? I've been getting a lot of really good feedback. I haven't, from from all the parents, it's like, you, this is this is amazing. Like, I've had, I've had adults come in and their parents are like, okay, like 21, 22 adults. Like, their parents are like, we've, we've been trying to get our child to, to just broad jump, just stand and jump yeah. far or stand and jump in the air for, for 20 years and we've never been able to do it. But in the time you've been working with him, you've gotten this. And 
like uh, not one negative comment about this. It's just been so overwhelming and everybody really seems to really enjoy it. And, you know, the program's proven to work. I've, I've gotten so much out of these athletes and what a you can't really moment. deny it. So tell us about, because obviously, you know, some people are lucky enough that they live close enough that they can do right. your services. Tell us how they would access you if they live local. Where so if you live local, you can you can email me. Well, tell uh, us where local is. I don't think we've even so, established So that. local Bay, Bay Area. Um, in I'm California. In Bay, Dublin, California. So I'm like 30 minutes outside of San Francisco. I'm like 20 minutes away from Oakland, Hayward, um, Discovery Bay, Palo Alto. So anywhere in like the hour and a half range, people are, are coming. Okay. And, and where what website can they go to? They can go to my website, which is www.puzzlepieceathletics.com. Or you can go to the Instagram, which is just at Puzzle Piece Athletics, and you can shoot me a direct message, or Facebook, which is also Puzzle Piece Athletics. We just need to figure out how to clone you. Have you thought about I know, franchising? Man, that would be so awesome. Right. <laughs> Have you thought about franchising? Uh, definitely, yeah, yeah. Okay. I want to. I've been I've been contacted from so so many places. It's. It's, it's very overwhelming. We had people like, we want your service here. Like, when are you gonna, when are you gonna branch out? Like, yeah. how do we become part of this? Can you train us to work with kids on the spectrum and, and all this stuff? So I'm really trying to, to branch out and to help everybody. I've been, I've been contacted a lot from Santa Barbara and LA and yeah. Ventura and Oxnard and like all those, all those places. Yes. Is that a program you could do a blueprint for and other therapists could initiate it yeah sure like I'm I'm working right now on the PPA method so as soon as I get everything dialed in and I can start running seminars and and teaching people like how I work with these neurodiverse people and how I keep them motivated and and the kind of movements I use through functional fitness with them and what works and what doesn't work kind okay, of stuff yeah. Well, I'm I'm sensing a DVD, okay. I, you know, like a like because I want to do it with, I'm so I, I'm watching you with some of your clients, and I'm like I want to do it with them. Uh -huh. I can see parents doing this with their kids on right. the DVD. Oh, hundred percent. And right? you know, like I think why why my program works so well is sometimes because a, if a parent takes her child to the gym, like even a neurotypical kid is like, you're crazy, dad. Like I'm not going to work out with you. Right, like I, I want to do this on my own, but it's it's the same same thing for a neurodiverse child or an adult. Like they don't want to be next to their their parent all the time, and and they want somebody else to take them to take them through, and again build that connection with somebody else. So I feel like that's why my program works so well is because we they're kind of thrown into the fire around all these people that are working out, you know, with them. Um, and they want to do it too. And when they have someone that can lead them and show them the movements the correct way, that's just like, they love it. Yeah, you can see that on their faces. So, oh, yeah. uh, Chad, I think there's something magic about you, and I'm glad that your wife recognizes it and, and yeah, keeps she's, pushing yeah. you in that direction. She sounds like a smart lady <laughs> and a keeper. She is definitely. She's way smarter than me. <laughs> well, thank you for the work that you do with our kids and for sharing the, that unique gift that you have with our kids because I think it's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tell, thank us, you. The really website, tell us the website one more time before we go. Yes www.puzzlepieceathletics.com and again instagram is just puzzle piece athletics and facebook is puzzle piece athletics thank you okay, so much good luck Chad. To you. thank you ladies it was very nice meeting you you nice too bye-bye bye. Bye. bye have a good one you too thank you hey thanks for watching autism live to subscribe click here and if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.